What is going on everybody? Welcome back to your 15th XHTML and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering lists. But before I do, I want to talk to you guys about this doc type right here because I thought I could get away with it, but I've been getting a lot of hate mail and people are complaining about this doc type for good reason. You know how I said that every XHTML document needs to have a doc type to make it valid? Well, the truth is that this is not a valid doc type and I shouldn't even be telling you this, but to be completely honest, if you go ahead and delete your doc type altogether, then your browser is still going to read your web page and it's probably going to be just fine. But if you want to make a valid doc type and a valid XHTML document, you know, you might want to do this if you're making a website for someone or if you had a job designing websites, um, you need to have a valid doc type. So let me go ahead and grab one from over here that is what a valid doc type looks like I think there are three major kinds strict which is like you need to write your code exactly transitional which is the best of the new XHTML and the old HTML and I think there's one called frame set don't ever use that because that has to deal with using the old HTML frames and I'm not even going to teach you guys what frames are because they're worthless and I hate them and no one uses them so um, that is what a valid doc type looks like I just didn't want to throw this on you guys in the first tutorial because you guys would be like, all right, if this is the crap I'm going to have to learn, then I'm just going to quit watching these tutorials right now. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there right now. So uh, yeah, now I have a valid XHTML document. So now we can continue with the meat of this tutorial, and that is covering list, not lisp, like th 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 list, like L-I-S-T. So the first list I'm going to cover is probably the most common list, and that's an unordered list. And whenever you make an unordered list on your web page, it's just going to take the items and make them appear as bullet points. So when would you want to use an unordered list? Say you're making a website of like things you want for Christmas. Those things don't really need to be in order, um, you know, because you want all of them. So you don't need them numbered or anything. It's just like a bulleted list. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and make that right now. In order to make an unordered list, the keyword is UL, and of course the ending is UL. So now here is where your list starts, and here is where your list ends. But you're saying, Bucky, there's nothing in my list. Well, let's go ahead and change that. So in between your tags, anytime you want to add an item to your list, you need to add the tag LI. This stands for a list item and of course the ending li now anything you put in between here is going to be an item in your list and you can have as many items as you want so let's go ahead and make this my christmas list so what do i want for christmas let me think real quick new sunglasses because my old ones are scratched up and let's just go ahead and copy this because i'm lazy and alright so we want new sunglasses what else do i want a computer can never have too many computers um, I want some paintings. Did I spell that wrong? Good, perfect. Paintings for my walls. And by the way, why am I saying this? Because I'm in my office right now. And on my walls, there are like four hooks where paintings or photos or something should go. And I don't have any paintings or anything to hang on there. So now I just have four dumb looking hooks on my wall. So anyways, I want some paintings for my walls. All right, and last but not least, I want a hot pocket because hot pocket. Hey, close enough. Everyone needs a hot pocket on Christmas. It's just like a rule. So let's go ahead and save this, and now you can see what an order, unordered list looks like. See, like I told you, it's just a bunch of bullet points. So anytime you want to make a list and they don't need to be in particular order, this is what type of list you would use. Again, the keyword is UL and the items in it are li so let's go ahead and uh, change this up and now since they made something called an unordered list you would figure it only makes sense for them to make an ordered list well if you thought that then you're right so an ordered list is keyword ol and let me just go ahead and end this ol and you put items in here just the same as you would an unordered list. The only difference between an unordered list and an ordered list is whenever you make an ordered list, things are going to appear numbered. First item is going to be 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. You don't need to number them explicitly. Your browser is going to do that for you automatically. So let me go ahead and show you. 
Again, to add a list item, an order list is the exact same as an unordered list. Just go ahead and put li and end it with end li. Let's just go ahead and copy this and paste this baby right now. Paste, paste, paste. So the first thing in my order list, so first of all, let's back up. Why would you use an order list? Well, say you wanted to give someone directions or instructions how to do something. Step one, step two, step three, and uh, or maybe, you know, the top ten movies you want to see this summer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, anytime you want an order list, use an order list. Fair enough. So let's go ahead and uh, make an order list and instructions on how to have a wonderful day. So number one, go to YouTube. And notice I'm not typing number one anywhere because the, my browser is going to do that for me automatically. Step two, type in the new Boston. Step three, watch all the videos that pop up. And step four, eat a hot pocket because we got to throw a hot pocket in there sometimes. So that is the instructions on how to have a wonderful day. So let's go ahead and save this and refresh it and see what we got. As you can see, it automatically numbered our list for us. So that saves us the trouble of, you know, having to do it ourselves. And it's also convenient when you have to go back and change something, it's going to reorder it for you automatically. So that is the basics of how to create an unordered list and an ordered list. Um, you're going to be using them a lot more frequently than you think in web design. So get to know them. Um, they're pretty easy to understand. So that's it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me on my forum at thenewboston.com. And uh, either I or someone else will answer them for you. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.